Hi everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is a fabric haul. I can't wait to share with you all of the fabrics that I have been buying over the past few months. I've got some really nice pieces um, in there. Now, before I get started, um, anyone who has been watching my channel um, before, um, do you like my new intro? <laughs> So I've done um, a new intro just because the previous one that I had uh, was my original um, intro. I've never changed it before. Um, I started vlogging um, in November 2019 and I've never changed my um, intro. I think it's because I was a little bit worried, you know, that people are used to that intro and, you know, it's kind of, you know, changing it. I don't know if people would like it or not, but... Um, I mean, the first picture that I had in my intro, I don't even own that dress anymore. Um, I threw that out. Um, then I had my um, Sirocco jumpsuit that doesn't fit me anymore. I've still got it, but it doesn't fit me anymore. Um, and then my other sort of polka dot sort of dress, which, you know, I still own. But they're a bit old now. Um, they're not, you know, maybe as reflective of what I'm making now. Um, I'm making maybe more sort of complicated things or more brightly coloured things. Um, and so I thought I would like to change my intro. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I do also have a different um, outro. Is that what you call it? That's more music, isn't it? End of the video. Again, if you had seen the end of my video, um, then it was kind of me holding my cat Bentley, um, and then like a picture of Misty, my other cat with um, patterns around, and I've just changed that slightly, just to different pictures of the cats, because yeah, cats are a big part of me, and if you ever watch my Vlogmas videos, then they're a big part of um, my sewing as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just thought I would mention that. Um, also, I will let you know what I'm wearing. This is the Chalk and Notch Fringe Top in this lovely black and brown sort of almost animal sort of print. I love this. This came as a kit from um, Guthrie and Garney, um, one of their sewing society kits. Absolutely love it. I have done a sew along for it as well, so I'll pop a little card up there um, in case you're interested. So, on to fabrics. Where should I start? <laughs> Right, let's get on to the fabrics. So there are three places that I bought fabrics from that I'm going to share with you. So first off, um, actually I didn't buy this particular fabric. This is a fabric that was actually given to me by my lovely friend Anna. Um, it was my birthday in June and um, she very kindly sent me um, a little package, uh, had lo a lovely card in it and everything and um, yeah she also sent me um, some fabric which was so so kind um, and it is this, it is a viscose with these lovely blue shells on, it's so pretty, it's such a lovely gift and uh, yeah I can't wait to make something from it, it's really nice and summery, I know this is from her shop, um, Pattern Pouch Nest, uh, which I'll come on to a little bit later. Um, but yeah, it's this lovely shell viscose, really beautiful, and will make a lovely, lovely dress. Perfect for like holidays and things because of all the shells. And yeah, she's given me quite a lot. I think I've got about, I think I've got about two and a half meters, I think. So that's very, very kind of her to uh, to give me that because yeah, it's absolutely beautiful fabric. Absolutely stunning. So uh, yeah, I must uh, have a think about what I'm going to make from that. And she also did include a Gutemann uh, black thread with that as well. And this beautiful uh, lace zip. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, yeah, cannot wait to get using those. And so speaking of Pattern Pouch Nest, uh, run by my lovely friend Anna, um, she actually had a sale on quite recently. And uh, yeah, I do love a sale. So um, yeah, I did have to go and um, uh, purchase some bits there. So first off, something I did have my eye on for quite some time. And I kept umming and ahhing, I kept putting it in my basket. And then I was like, do you know what? I'll wait till I actually get some fabric. Was this absolutely adorable little cat pin cushion 
<laughs> it's so so sweet I absolutely love it and uh, to be honest I can't put pins in it it's far too pretty oh hello Misty oh bang on time come on then come on no you're just going to stay down there and be out me um so yes this lot oh no she's coming up <laughs> excuse the tail yes there is fabric everywhere misty yes oh do you like it <laughs> yes this is misty approved right are you going to uh go over there uh yes so i think it's far too pretty to um put pins in so i did um buy it just purely for decorative purposes so i will put that um somewhere in my sewing room um just for me to look at and yeah oh, yes. uh, so i'll put that over here please don't move the camera misty yes uh, hello <laughs> So after the cat pincushion that had to go in my basket, um, then I had a look at the fabrics and um, this fabric um, that I first picked was absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased that I've got it. Um, I have seen it around um, for quite a few years in many fabric shops um, and I just decided to take the plunge because the price that Anna was selling this for was absolutely amazing for art gallery um jersey so it is this one so it is these lovely little hairs staring up at the moon and you've got all these lovely flowers and foliage it's absolutely stunning i've got two meters and she was selling it for 15 pounds a meter so that was an absolute bargain um and yeah i absolutely love this um this print um, as i say i have seen it for you know quite a few years kind of going around the fabric shops but yeah when i saw it for 15 pounds a meter i just had to pick it up it's absolutely beautiful and i picked up two meters of it so that should be enough to make myself a dress of some description i don't quite know which dress but it will be a dress of some sort um because yeah it's absolutely beautiful quality fabric as always from art gallery and yeah, having the little little bunnies and hairs, they're just absolutely adorable. I love them so much. So I'm so pleased that I picked that one up. And then the last fabric that I picked up from Pattern Pouch Nest was a sweatshirting. And I think I got the very last of it um, because again, I think this was, um, I think it was about seven pounds, I think a meter, something like that. It is really good for um, sweatshirting um, and it is this one. So again, sticking with the animal themes, <laughs> because yeah, it's one thing about um, Anna's shop is, uh, yeah, she is an animal lover like myself. So she does have a lot of very, very sweet animal um, fabrics, um, as well as like florals and things like that as well. But yeah, definitely uh, the animals, uh, you can tell that how much she loves her animals um so yeah it is these lovely leopards on this gray ba um, background now i do actually already own this fabric but in a different colorway i've got the sort of aqua background and i picked up a meter of it um the aqua color because i wanted it to be like um sort of like a front and a back of a sweatshirt and then have um you know contrasting maybe like black or something like that sleeves but um this one i picked up the last of what anna had which i think was about 1.3 meters i think it was um and that should be enough for me to make um a jumper with it using the sleeves as well so yeah that is my plan for that one um it's really nice and soft on the inside if i bring that there can you see there's that sort of fluffiness going on it's really really nice and when you stretch it it's not see-through at all so yeah that will be destined to be a jumper that I will hopefully if I can get round to making in the autumn ready for when the cooler weather sets in and then when I did place the order with Anna she did also include as a little freebie a little bit of rickrack uh, 
so yeah this lovely sort of purple color so she just added that in as a little extra which i thought was really really sweet so thank you very much anna so next up um i did purchase some items from where am i going to go next let's do rainbow fabrics so um i mentioned i think in a few of my previous sort of videos that um i need to make more dresses just because of you know uh, my weight sort of um fluctuating and everything i need to make some more dresses that kind of fit my uh, my shape a little bit more now and i wanted to pick up some more sort of lightweight jerseys kind of like viscose jerseys to make kind of nice flowy um dresses and um, I went on to Rainbow Fabrics because I saw that they had quite a few um, viscose jerseys going on. Now, when I was on there, I did get a little bit distracted. <laughs> uh, I was still very good. I only bought three fabrics. Um, but I did pick up what I would say is a bit of a wild card fabric. <laughs> um, I just saw it and it just went in my basket. And I'll, sh I'll start with that one just because it's a big fabric. I need to put it down somewhere because it's taking up all of my space up here. Uh, it is this one. <laughs> it is a uh, pink, fluffy um, fabric. <laughs> I just saw it and I just put it like, yep, yeah, put it in my basket. Didn't know what I was going to do necessarily with it, but I love it. It, all I keep doing is stroking it. It's so, so nice. So if I bring it up a bit closer, you'll be able to see that it's this sort of eyelash um, fabric with these little um, sort of square sort of confetti bits going through. And I just love the movement of it. It's just so nice. <laughs> um, and it does stretch. So uh, let me just try and get a bit out. There we go. Um, so there we go. So that is one direction that way. And then the other direction, not so much, but mainly that way. And you can see it's not actually that see-through. It is a little bit see-through, but certainly you could make a top in it and you'd be absolutely fine. Now, um, I did pick up two meters, um, just because I'm thinking either some form of like Cotigan, type thing you know where it's maybe a bit more flamboyant you know when i'm going out out <laughs> i can wear it as a sort of a nice sort of um as i say like a coatigan or something over you know maybe like a black dress or something um or i just thought of making um a jumper um i do uh if you'd seen my sort of recent ish other fabric haul that i did i did buy a black fluffy fabric because i wanted to make a black fluffy um jumper for um for winter so i might not need two fluffy jumpers but yeah i quite like the idea of just having something you know uh, a little bit sort of smart to sort of wear you know i'm going out somewhere nice and i can pop this on as like a little coat again um with whatever i'm wearing and it just makes it a little bit more glamorous i think as i say it is a bit of a wild card fabric it's not one that i would necessarily um have picked up unless i was <laughs> just in that sort of mood i think but i love it and as i say i just can't stop stroking it absolutely love it so i have two meters of it it's like a you know a little monster i love it <laughs> um so yeah hopefully i will um maybe pinpoint some patterns down as to what i can do but yeah i'm thinking of a sort of jacket type coatigan thing for that one um yeah i do love it i mean it's highly impractical uh but i just had to get it um sometimes you just have to do those impulse buys <laughs> so that was the um the wild card um fabric um but now on to let's say the more practical fabrics the ones that i actually wanted to um get um oh, let me move my scissors out of the way um but i actually wanted to get four um ideas in my mind <laughs> so these are two viscose jerseys i think they do have like a poly um sort of um bit about them as well um so i think they're like polyester viscose which i don't mind um i don't mind um polyester jersey i have got a few um t-shirts um and quite almost like skin tight sort of tops that i wear in like a poly viscose um or jersey 
and um, yeah they actually are really nice they don't um, what I would probably think a lot of people would think of is that they make you all clammy and sweaty whereas the ones I have are actually quite all right I don't really mind that um, so yeah and they, it does it does mean that it is a little bit cheaper I think I picked these up for about six pounds a meter I think which is a really good price for a sort of like a viscose sort of jersey um, obviously with the polyester um, content in there as well but my plans are are to make dresses so this is the first fabric I love these blues in it it's absolutely beautiful with these sort of like leaves really really pretty and the background is it's not black but it's almost like a sort of really really dark brown but it looks sort of black but it's I'm not sure if it's quite black um but yeah it's really nice I picked up three meters of this because I thought this would make again a, just a lovely dress so both of these fabrics um I have sort of two ideas now I am going to be doing a sew along for the love notions Lennox dress which I have got a fabric set aside for I'm going to see how that turns out and uh, so potentially I might want to make another one um, or what I do need to do is I um, have wanted to make the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress again. Um, I did a sew along um, for that one. Absolutely loved the dress I made, but unfortunately it doesn't fit me um, at the moment. So I would like to make um, another one, but I would like to make a full length version with the ruffle on the bottom. So potentially these two fabrics could be um, either the Lennox or the Westcliff dress or something else entirely um, depending what I decide to make but yeah I've got three meters um, of this so um, the oh let me just open it up a little bit um, there is lots and lots of drape on it it's a lovely lovely soft fabric and when you stretch it it's not too bad with uh, the whole see-through um, aspect because sometimes I find with um, quite fine drapey um, sort of viscose jersey or poly jersey that sometimes you can see through it but this one actually is not bad at all so yeah I've got three meters of it I think that'll make a gorgeous dress um, and my plans are to make dresses that I can wear sort of more like autumn uh, time as well so um, yeah that should hopefully fit the bill nicely there so I've got lots there and then the other one this one definitely does have I think all polyester this is like a proper poly um, viscose fabric um, it's still lovely though um, it is this one I love this color it's so so nice I don't have a lot of um, sort of dark green in my wardrobe and I do love this color um, and they did have it either with the black sort of um, animal print or white animal print, but I thought the black would just be absolutely perfect for the dresses that I'm planning on making. And it would be brilliant for work because I think it's quite smart. And it does have, I'm not sure if you can see, a little bit of a sheen going on. And I think that is um, the fact that it is kind of, has got that polyester um, in there, but it's so smooth. It's very, very lightweight but it is lovely let me just open it out for you a little bit here so also i do love the uh, the selvage on here this little rainbow <laughs> uh but yeah this one has lots and lots of drape absolutely lovely so so soft uh this one if you do stretch it out um it's still okay with the you know see-throughness you can probably see it does go a little bit see-through if you really stretch it out but actually you know you can't see you know my hand behind it hardly at all um, but it is lovely and drapey so I just need to make sure that the dress that I make from this isn't going to be too um, you know fitted because yeah when you have something that's really this fine you don't want it to cling um, but yes yeah, so I'm thinking something with a nice big skirt potentially the um, the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress might be a little bit too fitted for it. So if the Lennox goes how I want, then maybe that would be a nice one um, to make. But it's really lovely and soft. And as I say, I know some people don't like polyester. I 
personally don't mind it um, and this one feels so soft against the skin I love it so yeah I picked up those from Rainbow Fabrics and then the last place that I picked up some fabric was Pound Fabrics so I've got two fabrics from them and I do like Pound Fabrics um, because they have lovely quality fabrics at a discounted price. Now, I know sometimes people might think, oh, you know, it might be a bit cheap because, you know, it's called pound fabrics. Uh, I mean, yes, they do have some stuff that is really cheap and cheerful, um, but they do sometimes have some really nice key fabrics in there that, uh, yeah, I mean, I always like to have a look through and see what they've got. And um, I saw these two. And the first one is, it's another um, poly viscose jersey. Um, I don't know why I've suddenly just bought three poly viscose jerseys, but that's just the way um, it was. And um, this one is just so soft and I love it. And it was an absolute bargain. I got three metres for £7.50. So I think that is a very good price. And I love it. It is this one. It's this lovely, ditzy, purple sort of yellow white floral I love it oh now we have Bentley my other cat yes oh he has found the pink fluffy fabric are you going to make a nest yeah <laughs> well he's enjoying it already <laughs> uh, but anyway sorry back onto this one so yeah this beautiful ditzy floral I love this one and I can't believe £7.50 for three meters it's a bargain um, and again it's there to be made uh, there to be made into a dress <laughs> I couldn't get my words out then so yes it's going to be a dress uh, let me just open it up for you so you can kind of see the drape on this one it is just so soft uh, so soft and buttery this one it's just got a beautiful drape on it again if I stretch it out on there it isn't too see-through I mean oh there's loads of stretch this way loads and loads of stretch and yet yeah, it's not see-through so yeah I think that will make a beautiful dress love that oh just such pretty colors and I just I love the feel of it it's just so so soft so yeah that is an absolute bargain so I can't wait to make something out of that and then the last fabric that I picked up, it's a bit of a special fabric uh, because I am going to the Crafty So and So Dressmakers Ball again this year. I am so excited. Um, if you'd seen last year, I did a full vlog um, of kind of what I was doing with my dress, um, you know, and just my time there. And then obviously footage from the ball itself. It was such a fun fun day I loved it so um yes I bought myself a ticket and going up there again let me know if you're going um it's at the end of September so um I was kind of thinking do you know what I need to really be prepared as to am I going to make something this year um or am I going to use something from my wardrobe and I decided that I would like to make something um for the dressmakers ball now I do have some ideas floating around in my mind um, which I will share with you when I actually do my plans video because I am going to try and make my dress in August so that it's ready for the end of September. It also means that if for any reason my plans don't work out that I've got enough time to either make something else or just decide from my wardrobe, my current wardrobe, what I'm going to wear. So the fabric is this <laughs> yes I'm pushing the boat out I am going for red velvet <laughs> um, now this does have some stretch to it as well so it is a red stretch velvet it's mainly in um, just like a one direction um, yeah I love this color it's so kind of rich it's kind of almost a bit pink with sort of like the red of it it's not quite like a you know bright sort of pillar box red and it's not like a wine color red it's just almost got this ever so slight sort of pink to it I love it and this for four meters was 19 pounds so that is a 
bargain. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, it just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money if you're going to be, if you're going to be making something special. So, um, yeah, I love this. So I am going all out on it. Um, but my plan is a little bit, um, I'll just kind of share with you my sort of initial plan is to make a dress, but as separates. So a top and a skirt, put it together and it becomes a dress, which means for this red velvet, it will mean that I have a few more usable items in my wardrobe because it will mean that I could wear a um, red velvet top with you know some black trousers if I'm going out somewhere nice or if I want to wear um, a red velvet skirt with a top you know Christmas time and things like that it would be perfect to to wear for that so that's my idea because to be honest how often am I, am I actually going to wear a full-on red velvet dress after the dressmaker's ball I don't want to make a dress that is just you know, for for the dressmaker's ball because that's not practical, um, it's not sustainable. Um, I want to be able to make something that I can wear again and again and again. So that is my idea and yeah, it's lovely. I do love this fabric. Let me uh, open it out to the single layer so you can see. So yeah, lovely, drapey. Oh, I just love it. Such a beautiful colour. I don't own a lot of red. Um, not 100% sure if red is my colour, but I'm hoping it is. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. And yeah, with the stretch, so that doesn't stretch that way, but if I turn it uh, this way, then it has stretched there. So yeah, oh, I can't wait. What do you think? Do you think I look all glamorous, all in like red velvet? <laughs> so yeah, four metres for 19 pounds, bargain. So that was everything from my fabric haul. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Do you have any favourites? Um, and yeah, I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. If you did like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. Take care, everyone. Bye.